All right, chefs out there would tell you the key to success in the kitchen is improvisation. But some ingredients, like strawberries, mushrooms, eh, they just don't go together. Yeah. They don't go together, right? Apparently, right? they do. Huh? IBM teamed up with chefs at the Institute of Culinary Education for a cooking experiment. And ABC's Tina Trin found out what happens when a computer makes dinner. Here we go. If a computer can win Jeopardy, could it also be the next top chef? That's the question IBM engineers set out to answer with Watson, the company's cognitive computing system. We thought it'd be interesting to take the next step and see if Watson could help human beings come up with new ideas that had never been seen before. That includes new ideas in the kitchen. But what exactly do you get when Watson says you can make something with beef, chocolate, and edamame? We'll get to that in a minute, but first it helps to understand how cognitive computing systems work. Systems aren't necessarily programmed as much as they are taught. So they learn from their interactions with people, they read text, they read natural language just like you or I do. Watson read recipes, thousands of them. That really taught the system things about what ingredients are commonly used together. In addition, we gave it information about the underlying chemistry of those ingredients. So it knows about the molecular flavor compounds and how we might respond to them. But rather than regurgitating the same old recipes, Watson came up with totally new ingredient pairings that real life chefs then ran with. We're in the kitchen with Steve Abrams and chef James Brissione. We're yes. gonna make Austrian chocolate burrito. This is kind of crazy. You have beef, chocolate, in a burrito together. With oranges, with apricot, vanilla. And edamame. Two different types of cheeses. I am gonna trust you with this one. Okay, right, well let's get this done and we'll get our beef going. Let's do it. Once the meat starts to get some color, we're gonna make our first unexpected step with a bit of cinnamon. Are you serious? Wow. This was one of Watson's ideas. I would never think to add cinnamon to beef. That's so cool. And for the burrito sauce, how about some melted chocolate with pureed apricots and vanilla bean? It may not be your typical burrito, but that's the point. Mm. Watson obviously came up with the ideas for all these wonderful ingredients, but without James, all you'd have is a pile of ingredients. <laughs> so it really is this mm -hmm. collaboration between the human and the computer. A collaboration with delicious results. All right, Tina, what we got going on here? What is this you got in front of us? <laughs> I brought some burritos in for you guys right. to try. It's a weird combination, but it actually I smells good. I promise you it is not what you would expect, but it's still pretty good. Okay, so what are some of these other combinations? Yeah. So some really crazy combinations here, which are not expected, but end up tasting pretty good in this official cookbook. This is the cognitive cookbook with He's Chef got his Watson. Own cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty good, right? Yeah, right. I can't place it, but it's not bad. I like it. I can't tell. All right, what's going Tina, on. thank you so much. We'll be right back.